Hey everybody, this is a video response to OBXO Wind's latest video on adding another 1200 watts to the solar. Uh, looking good there, Kevin. Uh, keep it going. Uh, he said that Mike added some more to his too. Is he going to do a video on that? I'd like to see it if you guys got it. Um, just a quick overview. Um, GT, uh, GVFX 3524 over here and the uh, Max 60 charge controller. Got it mounted on a midnight solar e-panel. So that thing opens up and out to the, like this right here, to the left. So, um, to the QO panel, you know, for the critical loads. I'm going to actually put a plug, you know, come right down through here, put a plug on this wall somewhere. Um, got a feed going to a breaker in my sub panel behind me. That's that top conduit run right there. But, um, biggest challenge you got right now is going to be grid tying it. I already have a, 5.2 kW system grid time with local utility, which you know comes down as DC disconnect, goes to the inverter, then goes to an AC disconnect, and goes into the meter. Uh, this local utility out here is pretty strict about that, and they're uh, telling me if I want to grid tie this, I want to have an AC disconnect for it. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, if not, then what I'll do is I'll just get the battery bank topped off and uh, maybe run a few things out here all the time off of it, and not even worry about. Uh, grid tying, but uh, I would love to grid tie. I got about 940 watts, yeah, 940 40 watts of solar up there. Um, so, for just this system alone, so that should be enough to keep those batteries topped off and uh, maybe a little bit extra going back. So, but uh, just want to say, Kevin, appreciate all the videos, all the questions you've answered. You know, taking the time out, I really do appreciate it. Um, just keep them coming and um, have a good one.